Welcome. This is the best of Aerosmith on the best hit USA. こんばんは、小林和也です。アメリカのホットな情報と最新のヒットチャートをお送りするベストイット USA。今日はいつもと変わっております、えー、というのはですねこのグループを迎えて最初から最後までお送りしたいと思います紹介しましたエロスメイエロスメイウェルカムウェルカム I gotta be careful with my tongue エロスメイオッケー、uh, first, how about introducing yourself? スティーブン・タイラートム・ハミルトンジョイ・クレーマージョー・ペリーブラッド・ウィッフォード And、uh, welcome back. Thank you. It's been、uh, 11, 11, years. 11 years. 77. Right. right. And congratulations on the big success of your、uh, singles and album. And、um, see, we open up with a new video, and we、uh, plan to open up with、uh, Steve Winwood's、uh, uh, new song. How about Steve Winwood? Steve Winwood、uh, just got a new breath of fresh air. I think it's because he got married and because he's found a little humor in life. And, but his career is like going. I understand he,、uh, he has changed his record company and、uh, they didn't announce the sum of the,、uh, the money, you know. Maybe Probably big bucks. Big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Huge bignanos. Yeah. You like Steve Winwood, basically?、Uh, yeah, yeah, because he used to be in a group called the Spencer Davis Group, and yeah, yeah. give me some love, and that was the kind of stuff、uh, Aerosmith cut their teeth on. You know, I mean, way back then, was, I mean, that was like. Well, this new song of his sounds kind of like an old soul song. As、oh, a bass、yeah. player, I pick up on the bass part right away, and it reminds me of a song, an old soul song from the 60s. I can't figure out which one, but、mm. it's really great. Poison and Debbie Gibson coming up next. Countdown USA! Best It USA, Zen Bay Sing Chart Top 10 Tino Happy Oldest. American の代表的な業界誌ラジオレコーズが選びました今週のシングルトップ10どんな動きが見られるでしょうか、えー、早速20位から発表しますが今日はちょっと違っておりましてエアロスミスのメンバーに発表してもらいたいと思います OK Countdown Time、uh, Let's、uh, start with number 20 Right.、Uh, number 20, they call their music、uh, rock and soul, I believe. It's Daryl Hall and John Oates. Everything your heart desires. 11 point off the down this. Number 19, Jane w e e d l a n d Rush Hour. 19, you have to talk about it. Number 18, Breathe. With hands to heaven. 18, you have to talk about it. Number 17, Lita Ford with. Kiss me deadly. Four point down this. Brenda K. Starr, still believe. One point up this. Number 15, Richard Marks, hold on to the night. Five point up this. Number 14, Belinda Carlisle, circle in the sand. Six point all to down しました Number 13 is poison for nothing but a good time. Two point up this. Number 12, George Michael. One more try. Ten point old to down this. Number 11, Johnny B. Good's cousin, Al B. Sure. And <laughs> night and day. Three point off this. We have a、uh, uh, look at the、uh, number 20, from number 20 until、uh, through 11. Yeah. Are there any favorite、uh, artists among the list? Hall and Oates. I like, I'm especially fond of Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates.、Mm. Uh, they... I like Lita Ford because she's. Not afraid to get Show it.、Uh-huh. I like the new Lita Ford album. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's good. 
You like the video too? Uh, well, I don't think I've seen the whole thing. Oh. I think we uh, left for the road before I got she a chance to see it. She teases a lot in the video. Yeah, yeah. I bet. She uses her body, you know, right. to, for the visuals, but the music is there too. Right. How about uh, this new group called Poison? Uh, you, you, you... They were uh, used to be called a glam rock band. You know, they. Uh, Oh, from the from the T Rex days. Well, that's what it reminds me of Aww. because you know we were we were around back then. Um, but uh, they remind me of this song that uh, some band does called "Dude Looks Like a Lady." Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> no, I think they've heard about enough of that stuff. You know, they they're trying to turn their image around too because you know they are. They, they, well, they they claim that they uh, that they got the rock and roll down. Yeah, they're taking the antidote. さあそれでは今いろんなことを言っておりましたポイズンの「Nothing But A Good Time」。You know, and they'll survive. But you know, you're going to see that no matter what you do, people are going to take from something before. You know, it's just uh, it's how they put it forth, how they rock. So, so they're going to do it. Kara, you know, have to do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's me. So, member, I need to do it. Number ten spot belongs to Prince, Alphabet Street. One point up, please. Number nine, we have Def Leppard. With, of course, some sugar on it. Seven point, the old crop. This. Number eight is In Excess with New Sensation. Four point, Dr. Number seven, we have Pebbles with Mercedes Boy. Three point up. Uh, number six, Bruce Hornsby in the rain. The Valley Road. Okay, come on. Number five, the Jets. Make it real. Okay, come on. Before we have uh, some good friends of ours, Rick and the boys, Cheap Trick with the flame. Three point up this. What do you think of the comeback uh, of the cheap, uh, cheap trick? I think it's great. great yeah. I think it's really, really good, and especially that song. The same guys, right? Same oh, yeah. old guys. Yeah, they got Tom uh, Peterson back in the band. He was gone for a while, now they have him back in the band. It seems when bands get together in their original lineup, things go a little bit better. The magic happens. Right. Uh, what do you think of the chart uh, from looking at the number 10 through 4? Too much disco or what? Mm -hmm. Too much disco. Yeah. <laughs> Too much disco. There's a lot of um, teeny boppers, but there's a lot of good stuff. You know, there's yeah. always you always have to um, take whatever's there and pick out what you like, and the rest, you know. Mm. You mentioned uh, Prince is your favorite. Do you listen to them a lot? Uh, yeah, I, I like some of the older stuff. Uh, I think more than his like, new stuff. Uh huh. But, uh, Before he really got big, you mean? Yeah. Like, uh, but uh, he, he's just a really good performer mm -hmm. uh, and an uh, incredible musician. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think of the sounds uh, he kind of experiments? He experiments a lot, yeah. you know, and he's not afraid to do anything. That's, mm -hmm. that's the great part about it. He doesn't follow uh -huh. uh, trends or anything. Uh -huh does what he wants to do. And, that's uh, what gives him the license, you know, to do those things. You know, right. people see that, that he's taking those chances of doing things, and it's just so good. Okay, so let's see the best three. Number three is Bruce Hornsby with Mercedes Boy. Number two is Bruce Hornsby with Mercedes Boy. Number three 
is Rick Astley and Together Forever. Two points of this. Two, a close personal friend of mine, Michael Jackson, with Dirty Diana. Two points off this. And number one, my favorite. No, that's not true. No. <laughs> and number one, Debbie Gibson, with Foolish Beat. song yes. how's the uh, how's the uh, uh, grade in music how's my grade in music yeah. very good <laughs> very good yeah. yeah you play instruments yes i've been um, playing piano since i was four mm -hmm. and i wrote my first song when i was five and now i've written about 300 songs and i write constantly <laughs> yeah is it true that you started writing uh, when you were five or something uh, yes i wrote my first song then and when you're called, crawling you wrote <laughs> make sure you know your classroom was the name of the song <laughs> it was about going into kindergarten <laughs> oh, yeah? how, do, how does it go? You remember? Yeah. Want me to sing it for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Please. Make sure you know your classroom. Make sure you know your seat. I'll help you find your teacher. I hope she looks so sweet. Make sure you know your classroom. Make sure you know your seat. I'll help you find your teacher, or you'll have to wait in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Aerosmith for the Star of the Week, coming up next. The Star of the Week. Were there any, any of course you had uh, climaxes, but uh, were there any time you wanted to feel, you know, you feel like you want to disband or, you know, hardship? Stuff happened in the 70s, uh, the late 70s. Uh, we were touring to the max. We were doing a lot of stuff to the max, a lot of drinking. Uh, and it, it just, uh, it made us want to throw our hands up and go, the hell with this. Uh, so instead of taking a break and going to some island somewhere, or just not going on the road for a year, taking a break, we broke up. You know? yeah. And so, you know, I think we all learned from that, that that's nowhere, and that was wrong for us, especially us who found some magic, you know, in 1972. And uh, you don't just throw that stuff away. Dream on, Aerosmith. You've been traveling for the last eight months, uh, right? You don't mm -hmm. uh, come back to your home? Uh, yeah, which, yeah, we do. We go which out you, for. I hope you have. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, um, we go out for generally six weeks or eight weeks, uh -huh. and then we come home for a couple of weeks. And uh, it's funny, but uh, for me, you know, it'll, I'll be uh, getting close to going home, and I wonder, you know, what's my real life? Is my real life in a hotel? Or is it at home, where I live? It's a hard Sometimes, toss up, isn't it? you know, <laughs> I really don't know. You know, which is real and which is, you know, the other side of it. Yeah. I'm confused. Right. Yeah. It can get crazier than that. And so what we do is take a break. You know, we we, we now you know, take uh, two weeks off every once in a while. Right. So you, you this know. time you feel uh, better. I mean, this time around. Yeah. Well, we use a little jet uh, to, when we. Uh, travel in the states and in North America. We uh, we don't go from city to city for every show and lug our suitcases around. We we pick a city that's in the middle of an area, and we use a nine-seat jet to travel in and out every day. So we just stay in one hotel for a week or two weeks yeah. and commute. Right. And it, yeah. it's much better, mm -hmm. much better shows, and it's a lot more fun. Do you? Uh 
try to keep yourself in shape uh, whenever you're not uh, traveling. I mean, you seem to do uh, all incredible things on, on the stage. You still do that, what you call the back. Uh, what, I flip yeah. out? <laughs> Flipping out all the time. I like to, uh, you know, it's like I have to keep myself, uh, you know, I have to uh, quit smoking so I can get the wind up there. Sometimes it's so hot, it doesn't feel like you're getting any wind. So what I do is I run. When I first got here last week, when we first got to, to Japan, I ran around the... Uh, Moat? Yeah, I ran around the moat. Oh. Was it se seven kilometers? No, no, it's uh, four, four and a half or five, just about five. I don't know, I don't know where you... It's three uh, miles, right? Three miles. miles, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I just I ran around it, you know? Mm. And like that... that. Uh, How about the rest of you? You don't want to hear for a Just you? Uh, no, everybody works out. Everybody's oh, yeah. working out. Because, you know, it gets nuts up there. You don't ever want to be up there and go, I can't do something. You want to be able to go, yeah, you know? Uh -huh. And so, you know, besides, it, it gets your endorphins flowing and it makes you feel like, mm, gives you that buzz. It makes you feel super alive. Uh -huh. Red Doll, Aerosmith. You know, they told me you don't touch any alcohol or you don't mess around the fire extinguisher anymore. No, we had, a, <laughs> we had a big falling out with drugs and with alcohol because we, in the 70s, we had, um, we had something to prove to ourselves, you know, and we had to get it out of our system. It took us 10 years, but we did it to the max. We did it too much. In fact, uh, we did it way too much. So we came to realize that it's doing nothing but getting in the way. It's like, it's like uh, if, you, if this was a microphone and I put a thing in front of you, you could never sing into the mic. So he took, the, took it away and it was It just made it so much better. In mm. the 70s, we didn't see that. We didn't see that it was taken away from us. But it's okay, because we had to get that out of our system. Uh, you know, it was, uh, I guess it's the nature of the, of the rock and roll beast. It's like And we had to get it out of our system. So we partied until the max until we dropped, we crawled out of the ashes, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see yourself 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead? Positively, yeah. I mean, for, for as long as you know, we'll be alive, we'll be able to rock for people. And there'll always be people that want to hear Train Captain Rolling. There will always be somebody out there that will want to hear, that will want to rock and roll, you know? And as long as we can do it, yeah. <laughs> ホテルからエアロスミスを迎えてお送りしましたベスティックイエスエイカーでしたでしょうか、えー、来週はスタジオに戻っていつもの通りお送りします OK Thank you for your time エアロスミス I wish you well and ありがとうございますありがとうありがとう